Salam brothers, how are you? I hope you guys are well. Day 27, another three, four days to go. Alhamdulillah, I'm happy about that. I'm feeling cold today, feeling tired today. We're almost near the end, so I gotta keep pushing it. Uh, I got a couple of questions, so let me answer your questions. Let's get to it. QWERTY SHACK uh, had made a comment. I think the main cause of belly fat is uh, caused from a hormone called cortisol. Cortisol is produced when there's a blood sugar fluctuation. If you want fat on your belly, then eat sugar. This was actually a comment, and I just wanted to clarify. Cortisol doesn't actually promote belly fat. First and foremost, nothing promotes strategic belly fat. Nothing will promote fat uh, strategically in your belly. When you gain fat, you gain fat everywhere. You don't gain it just on your belly. Uh, it appears that it might be just on your belly. It's just because that's your, the way the uh, fat cells are distributed. Generally, you have more fat cells around your belly for the men, and for the women, it's the thighs and the, the butt area. So it appears that they gain more fat there. They do gain more fat there, it's just that there's more fat cells there. And fat cells are predetermined uh, genetically before you were born and uh, when you're young and maybe during uh, puberty. And once you have your fat cells, that's it. You can't get, really get rid of them unless you have them surgically removed. Uh, when you diet, all you're doing is depleting your fat cells and um, uh, engorging them. So they just deplete, fill up, uh, or, or deplete. You don't actually get rid of the fat cells. When you diet, you don't lose fat cells. You, you, you have the same number of fat cells. Unless, uh, like I said, you get them surgically removed with a liposuction. Okay? So I just want to clarify, uh, cortisol doesn't actually uh, target specifically the abdomen. Uh, yes, of course, uh, if you, uh, it, it's excess calories that will make you gain fat. So not really the cortisol, it's, it's excess calories. And of course, carbs, uh, starchy carbs, if you don't uh, use them, they will get stored in your glycogen levels, and if you still don't use them, they will get stored in your fat cells as energy to be used later on. All right, I hope I clarified that a little bit. All right, the ACES heart. I hope you are fine by the grace of Allah. Yes, I am. Bro, I saw your last video actually, and I want to know which cardio exercise the best for a, stump, for a fat, flat stomach. Here is a, here, there is a lot of cardio exercises on YouTube. Kindly recommend me any good cardio exercise. I want to get rid of the fat on my stomach and I want abs. Okay, any cardio exercise where you can raise your heart rate and keep it elevated for an extended period of time. Let's say 20, minimum 20 minutes. Minimum 20 minutes to 40 minutes is a good cardio exercise. A brisk walk, jogging, running, elliptical, treadmill, biking, rollerblading, anything. Those are all good. Those are good cardio exercises. Um, cardio exercises like say pl playing tennis. Tennis is good also but there's a lot of stop and go, stop and go. So you, you don't want to do that. It's repetitive movement for cardio. It's aerobic exercise for cardio, for fat loss. So it has to be uh, repetitive movement. Swimming also is good if you can maintain the movement for uh, continuously. I can't swim for my life. I stopped swimming after two minutes. So for me, car uh, swimming is not a good uh, cardio workout. If you can keep swimming for 20, 30, 20, 30 minutes nonstop, then it's an excellent uh, cardio exercise. Uh, Salim Q. Thank you for the uh, videos. Waiting for some bulking videos and advice on me for meso endo. Actually, I'll do a separate video for you, uh, catered for bulking for the meso endomorph. I did it for the ectomorphs, and I'll also do it for the meso endomorph. All right, I'll do it shortly. Uh, Cordy Sheck also asks, can you do a video on DHEA and also those products that are supposed to boost testosterone? That's a good question. DHEA, another new product. Uh, DHEA is actually a, a hormone. Uh, this product seems very similar to HGH, now, which is also a hormone. It seemed what they're doing here is, and they, and they do this all the time. The, the, the manufacturing company, the supplement companies, they'll take an actual hormone like HGH and DHEA, DHEA, 
and then they'll sell you uh, a plant uh, based supplement which is supposed to mimic what the real hormone does now if you read up stuff on DHEA, DHEA and HGH it sounds like the fountain of youth it sounds amazing those are actually steroids they're actually hormones you need a prescription for those so but what you're getting on the internet or what you're getting from the supplement shop is not the real HGH or not the real DHEA those are plant-based supplement whether they're effective or not I don't think so if you if you want a testosterone booster which I've taken which I've been around for over 50 years unlike DHEA and HGH which is brand new uh, just take um, uh, what was the name of it um, Tribulus yes Tribulus take a uh, Bulgarian Tribulus this has been around for a long long time they use it in Bulgaria you know and when people in the sports industry use it I've used it many times it definitely works just look it up Bulgarian Tribulus very good I've taken it uh, several times and it, it actually works pretty good okay I hope I answered everybody's questions if I missed a question just send me another email uh, send me another uh, comment uh, and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible don't forget guys we're on Facebook so go ahead and like us on Facebook so you can follow up on all our videos thank you thanks for watching Salam.